She really hates him. It's really true. Test one, two, three, test. Test your mic. What, what was that? Wiping my mouth. But wh- why, like, so, like, ridiculous? Uh, say test first. <laughs> say no, it. I'm not going to say it. Then we can't do a podcast. Okay, I guess we can't. Just say test, test. No, I'm not going to do That's it. That's how we do it. Test, test. You burp in the middle of words. That's how you do it. You got it. No, I'm not doing that. If you don't do it, it can't, life can't go on. Test, test, test. You go. You just gonna sit this there. This is a battle of the wills because I won't say test. You won't continue. There, I said one. There, you're right. There, now you can carry on. I won. <laughs> That's why? all. I, why do you like? Why is that important to you? It's not important, but it just goes down in the wind column. That's all. Right, because your every interaction that you have no, in life. You. That's you. Is win or lose. That's you. Oh, 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 let me uh, tell you how crazy Bonnie... Oh, can't wait to get into this. The other day... I don't know what it is. And this, she's going to figure out a way out of it and turn it around on me. Figure but let me tell you... Of it. Let me tell you, the other day, uh, we took Raina and her friends tubing. I wasn't going to go on the tubes. Oh, my God. You get so angry. Can I... God, let me finish. Relax. And Raina and how many friends? There was... Seven. Three. three Seven nine. of them all together. Six friends. Raina and, and six friends. So we all got out of the cars. We're getting ready to go tubing. And all I said was, does everybody have sunscreen? No, I said did. suntan lotion on. You kept saying, everyone, everyone have suntan, suntan lotion. And Bonnie goes... Quit trying to control things. I wasn't controlling. That's not how I was, it went. Yes, down. it did. Exactly. Look at your smile. When you lo- when you're lying, you smile. That's what she does. And I said, "Does everybody have something?" And Bonnie starts going, "Quit trying to control things." I'm going, "What?" She goes, "Why are you so angry?" And I'm like, "What the fuck no, are you talking no, about, Richard?" All I know, you stop you stop. It. Take look. Do you want no. to hear this? The, okay, know thyself. You, okay, do you want to just tell your side of the story? Did you say on? quit controlling things when I said, does everybody have suntan lotion? I said lotion? stop micromanaging, I believe is what I said. Asking the kids if they had suntan lotion on. It's not suntan lotion. It's sunscreen. Same thing. It really isn't, but okay. And we'd already done it. Everybody said yes, and then you asked again. Making sure, confirming. I Okay. That's all. all and then I, I see, and you, you, you kind of were on this loop, which sometimes you do a little OCD. And I said, "Hey, stop micromanaging." And then you lost your mind because you again, can't, again, she's you can't lying. Control your emotions in she's front of lying. people. I didn't no, lose you were my mind. Ready to have a full blown fight in front of everyone. I didn't. No, in your which mind, is what I was. You do. In when your you don't mi- get your way, you go, ah. In your mind, that's what you thought. But I wasn't ready to have a fight. All I was doing was you offering. Got so mad no, I didn't. I was like, okay, okay. I had to like. No, she. Relax. Listen to me. This is her. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, it wasn't happening, but in her mind, she thinks it's happening. So she reacts I know on. Did you the, get mad? No. Did you get mad at the sushi restaurant? No. You didn't get mad there either. Where? When? It, uh, because it was like almost a repeat of that exactly. No. Oh, oh, another thing. Yes. Yeah, and she was wrong. That's why she called me and said she was sorry because she was wrong. All, all I was wrong. All right. So. I was wrong. I, I will say this. You you tend to let you would you will never hold out and just kind of like smile uh, and carry on and then have the fight later. You'll have that fight in front of there everyone. There was no fight. You're well, like a child. You're like this. You're like a controlling busybody. I was, you are. There goes the smile because she knows it. With all the kids were sitting down to have. To I, have oh, what shouldn't I smile? Should I like just have a real? Uh, knock down, drag out fight right now. No, I'm not trying to have a fight. Okay. I'm trying to, you so, point things out about me when, and I accept them and then when I point things out about you, you, ne- you turn you it around. You one time accepted anything. That's not when true. When have you ever accepted anything that you've done wrong? 
all the time. All the time. Smile and then startled look. Oh. <laughs> Smile and startled look. Oh. There, my kid, my daughter and her friends were getting ready to have dinner that night. We, we took them to a restaurant. They uh, sat down. And I just said to Raina, I go, Raina, before you leave, order me two things to go. Bonnie's like, no, 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 no. No, 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 not how it happened. Raina said no. And No, I- she never said no. You're making that up. She never okay. said no. I, it looked like she was like. No, she never said no. You were the one who just jumped in, Mrs. Well, because I didn't understand why you wouldn't oh. just order your own sushi. Because I didn't want to sit there and wait. She was getting and sitting there. Oh, but I got. But a moment before, you wanted to sit down and eat. Well, we were going to eat, but now you said we're not. We're leaving. I didn't so, say we're leaving. I said yes. I have to go home and feed the cat. Yeah, you said I don't want to sit here and eat. So you go, I'll have something to drink. So I was going to sit there alone and eat. Well, so, I was going to sit with you. But what's the sense if we can get a million things done? I got a new name for you, and you'll love it. Bonnie Busybody. B-B-B. Bonnie Busybody. Well, that's 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 a hard one for you, though. No, it isn't. Okay? You're like everybody. That, Spitting out. You're, you're like everybody that goes, ooh, I'd love to hear him say that. And I, and I block him. Ooh, I'd love to hear him say that. Block. Ooh, ooh, go ahead, say that. Block. So you feel you're being bullied online because of your speech impediment? I'm not bullied because I block the people. The same old hacky bullshit. But it, it really it bothers you. No, it doesn't it's bother triggering. me. No, it's actually it's it's the same old stupid thing. New insults. Are you looking for new insults? Oh, hold on. Bonnie Busybody is talking. Bonnie Busybody. There you go. Ooh. Were you wrong at the restaurant? Yes or no? Yeah, I shouldn't I shouldn't say anything. What I if you want to know my thought process. No. Okay. <laughs> Were you wrong when I said put suntan uh lotion on? Sunscreen? No. I wasn't I was just looking out for kids. Oh, and Bonnie got back. Her legs were redder. Than, than this shirt. I'm telling you, she can't even walk. All right, I can walk. You've done hardly. You saw, you've seen nothing. I've complained very, very little. You said it's like pins and needles. I said it's like glass going in every time we take a step. Yeah, it's super red. So one of the parents had to go on the tubing expedition with the teens. Yes. And who went? You did. Who, who gamely volunteered? You did before I had a chance to. No, because Richard, stop it! You were like, "I'm not going." Yeah, I don't. Li- I don't like that kind of okay, stuff. Okay, so, so now who's lying? Where's your smile and your look of surprise? Okay, because you're lying. What? It's called gaslighting. When you go, "Oh, I would have done it." I said. Then I said I wouldn't because I don't but like you that never stuff. Said that. Yes, I did. I said because I don't like that stuff. Let's listen, learn. I'd rather not listen to you, but um. Okay, so I went and I did put on sunscreen, but my legs have not seen the light in about. Oh, how much sunscreen you put on? Not very much on yeah. my legs. I did it all my face and my arms because I thought that's what was going to be the problem. Yeah, because the sun doesn't hit your legs. Well, usually it doesn't because you're over your legs, but I d- didn't take into consideration that your legs, your knees are like, you're sitting like with your knees up. See, my back wouldn't have been able to handle it that long. Yeah, it was not comfortable, um, but it was it was it was beautiful, and it, it just took four hours. It was like a long, long time. floating for four hours. Yeah, did you have your phone? Yes, in a plastic bag. Did you play with it? Did I play with it? Did I look at it? Yes, <laughs> but it was hard to see. It wasn't you know because it was in a bag. You could have taken it out of a bag. I was scared because at one point. Um, you were just floating. Yeah, but we went down like this little mini waterfall, and I got tons and tons of water in my tube because it has a flat bottom, and so I was completely soaked. And then I was worried that my car keys uh, were going to get wrecked, <laughs> so I had to take them out, put them on my lap, and, and get, get the sun to like whatever. And then I had another plastic bag, but it got all wet. So then I had it, uh, honestly for four hours, it felt like I was. Like, you know those movies where you're like trying to stay alive, where the person's trying to stay alive. I'm living it. 
and I felt like that was what I was doing. Like you didn't think that was good? No. I thought it was. Go nah. ahead. It was quick. Nah. I thought so. Nah. Yep. No. Yep. Mm-mm. Testing. No. I won't do it. Sorry. Let's discuss. Anyway. And her legs were super red. I had a water bottle that I drank all the water. And I was didn't trying to enough. like, I was like doing this, you know, I was like getting jerking water. Jerking off. Jerking off. <laughs> I was getting water out of my uh, thing and trying my car keys. And it was just like, is this, this is what it would be like if I was trying to stay alive. And, you know, the didn't put enough sunscreen on, enough sunscreen. I know. And didn't I knew it was happening and there's nothing I could do about it. Yeah. What could I have done? Leaned over and blocked him, your legs. Uh, and I had a hat on, which a big gust of wind came and took my hat, and it went under like that. My favorite hat. What hat? Speaking of favorite, I am wearing Jack's. That's a restaurant owned by our friend. And Who? Lou? Yeah. Who, Lou? Yes. Where is it at? Miller's PA. Hmm. That's a cool sweatshirt. Mm-hmm. And a cooler restaurant, I'm to understand. Well, I don't know how one could be cooler than the other. Okay, thanks. I like Carry this. on. We're... Um, well, you don't control this and tell me to carry on like you're my boss. Carry on. Oh, should, what else should I do? Take uh, dictation? Oh, that's not a good word for you. Yes, it was. <laughs> it's not. Oh. A, it's not a good word for you. You're against it. What the dick in yeah. dictation? Uh, let's talk about me in Woodstock '99. Oh, okay. they try to blame me for. <laughs> What did they say? Okay. I didn't, I didn't watch it. Tell me everything. Okay, so there's a documentary on Netflix called Woodstock 99. It's called something else. And Rich. It's called like, what's it? It's called. Oh, it's about Woodstock 99. They'll find it on Netflix. I never brought Brand my new. phone down. And, oh, no, we're going to play that game. Well, I didn't bring my phone. Oh, okay. And um, anyway, uh, I, I when I saw it on there, I felt bad that Rich wasn't in it. I didn't watch it, of course, because because uh, it's all Rich talks about is Woodstock '99. It's 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 amazing. <laughs> it's a joke. Whoa! whoa. whoa I can't. You get you get that sensitive? No, I'm not sensitive. But this is what people believe. They hear it and they believe it. Well, you you do have you know framed things. I have one. Yes, I have one poster of it of different pictures of Woodstock okay. '99. So. I've heard quite a bit of Woodstock '99, and um, you haven't. I haven't talked about it in years. It comes up. It comes what? up. Oh, okay, so go ahead. You. you so I was thinking that you should listen. When I saw it on there, I was like, "Oh, Rich should have been interviewed." For yes, this. I said that too. Why didn't they interview myself and the other two hosts? Right. It's and crazy. I was there for three days, hosting. I was hosting. There was uh, three stages, Maine, the West, what I was on, and the alternative, the the hangar. And my stage, the West, was great the whole time. Nothing thrown at at us, no bomb. They asked me to go host a main. Now, the uh, whole documentary is about what? That there was a riot? I didn't well, the know whole, that. Well, the whole debacle of how they... Uh, Barely had security. They didn't uh, let people bring water in. They were checking their backpacks, and they would take their water and empty. And say, you can't bring water. Who can't bring water into an outdoor that's festival crazy. that's on blacktop in in the middle? You know, mm-hmm. hundred and something degrees. Mm-hmm. And then they were charging like four to six dollars for a bottle of water. I passed out water at one time. I was walking around giving water to people, uh, you know, because we had bottles backstage, and I gave some away. I mean, not, not you know, a Three? half. A, I don't know. Whatever I had can six? carry. 
whatever. If it was four, it's four more than than somebody <laughs> else so gave away. about everything. What happened to you? I'll tell you what happened to you. Yeah, no sense yes. of humor left. Huh? What happened? What did you say? No sense of humor. I have a quite the sense of humor. Oh, okay. Most people who are hilarious use the word quite. <laughs> they do. So, they, you know, so the whole thing was a nightmare, but not my stage. And there was one point in the beginning, you know, there's 50,000 people. I go, let's go crazy. and let's go, let's go fucking wild. You know, what am I supposed to do? Walk out and go, hello, everybody. Be like fucking Woody Allen or something, you know? So... What, did they blame the whole thing on you? No, they go, and then it started going wrong or something like that, and right. they showed my clip of me saying that. That's pretty funny. But I, it wasn't even the Obviously same stage. Not, right. No. But if I was making the movie, I would have done the same thing. You use all clips that, you know, point to the outcome that you want. You know, and it wasn't even my stage. I didn't even really see all the crap that was going. They, Like I said, they asked me to host over... At the main one on a Saturday, I said, no way. Why? Because, one, it was too rowdy. That's what I heard. They're throwing bottles and stuff. And they're just, you know, on my stage, there were times I'd go up, you know, do announcements, a little crowd work, you know, talking with the guys out front guarding the stage, uh, you know. And, you know, announcements, drink water, folks. Yeah, really? Drink our water that costs you fucking mm -hmm. five or six dollars, you know. Fucking grilled cheese, nine dollars on a piece of cheese on this a hot is dog. This is a 99. Roll. Yes. It was so much money. And, you know, and then, you know, I didn't bring up every band. I brought up some bands. Sometimes I sat in, in the, my dress room was just a little room with a recliner. A recliner? Yeah, like a, a, a chair that went back. I know what a recliner is. And then they had, weird. the whole trailer was for the bands, the big mm. part, and then I had a little room I could go sit in. I mean, it was air conditioned, you know. And then we had vans that drove us in and out backstage and behind the scenes. And I guess we were I, when Megadeth went on, the last band at our stage, I think I left right, right then, before all the crap started. Maybe we saw one fire in the distance. I don't remember. Why, what wasn't... happened? There was like fires? Major fires. They set a, all this crap on fire. They're ripping down towers. And wow. it was, they were lighting trucks on, truck trailers on fire. Wow. Beating up the cash machines. Wow. It was, you got to see. wow after everything. What? It's well, you, you can can I explain stuff without you trying to? Be... I just kept saying wow, and then I made fun of myself. Sorry. And wow. Wow, you're gonna get fucking knocked out <laughs> and go wow. That hurt. Well, I'm now saying wow because you have no sense of humor. I have a major sense of humor, quite the wow. sense of humor. Wow. Okay, yeah, that's what you want to do. Well, here it is. Every episode. <laughs> wow. It just wouldn't be the uh, My Wife Hates Me podcast if Rich didn't blow his nose during the Something, episode. I've never seen Something's getting blown in this house. I. I think you did that joke last time. No, I didn't. Yes, no, yes, I didn't. No, yes, I don't Alzheimer's. repeat. Yes. I don't repeat old timers. It's Alzheimer's, not old timers. I said Alzheimer's. You heard old timers because you're an old timer. Yeah. Okay. Oh, enough. Go okay, wow. Wow. <laughs> so, uh, I can't believe they didn't interview me for that. Uh, wow. That documentary. I mean, it makes no sense. When they just want to use that one clip of me going, let's go crazy, let's go fucking wild, whatever. I have, you know. A lot of people like texted you about it. Yeah, everybody. Two days. I, I was at the stand and people were like, hey, I, I was cool seeing Rich in that documentary. Yeah, but it, that could have turned my career around if, if I was in the whole thing. Turn your career around. It, you do it. You're totally relevant all the time yeah i'm relevant but it could have got me more money in the clubs 
Could From the Woodstock been. documentary, yes. If you have a big thing like that well, on you Netflix. Well, you still say that you're in the Woodstock documentary. I am in it. It's weird that they never had to tell you that you're in it. Like, they licensed that clip from somewhere, but it doesn't matter who's in the clip. They can just, I guess, use it. I probably never signed a release. I don't know how this shit works. Maybe at, there's a certain amount of time goes by they're allowed to use it. You know, we left a place. We stayed at the casino, the Turning Stone Casino. You know. Wow. I brought Artie Fuqua. I brought a guest backstage. I would, I go into the tent where the food was. You know, I'd be sitting in line with like corn or Kid Rock or, you know. How just you spell to get, corn? K-O-R-N. Oh. Whoa. How do you spell corn? How do you spell corny? B-O-N-N-I-E. Wow. What was the name I gave you, Bonnie? You don't know it? B-B-B? Yeah, I forgot. Bonnie Badalac? Yeah. Where, Why is it so? Where are we flying first class to Denver or to Edmonton or both? <coughs> Bitch, we are flying first class all the way. Both ways. <coughs> every flight, every seat. We are going today. We're leaving it's just for two days. What's just for two days? Our our trip to Canada. Oh, we have people uh, securing the house. Yeah, but still. We're taking our dog with us. And uh, I put all the jewelry in the fucking safety deposit box. It's a long trip. My- you know that, right? It's like first flight is like four hours. Second flight is two hours. Two and a half. <coughs> Excuse me. But. Is there any more noises that buy, can come out of your mouth? Sorry. I don't know face. why it keeps happening. When I, um, when I, when I book a, a trip, man. I did it in L.A. when we went to L.A. I did all the bookings, and we had a nice time, a nice hotel, nice flight. Now I'm doing it again to Canada. You're the best person. It's probably nice to except, be married to me. Except when Busybody comes along. Oh, you remembered it. Is that all you were doing was just thinking about no, it? No, it just hit me, Bonnie, Busybody. Well, this Busybody's putting us in first class so you do it with miles you no know? no this i paid for this was very very expensive we're doing with you this back. was really expensive to go to canada and it's not even like true first class <laughs> what do you mean it did the seats don't go all the way back oh uh, no that's only on uh, long haul flights it's going to be uncomfortable we could have just got emergency emergency exit row well, next time I know that, I'll give you emergency exit road, well, right, and I'll sit in first class. Well, it's not first class if the seats don't go back. It is <clears throat> first class. We're going to do Would You Bang Them September 28th at the Comedy Store again. Okay, great. Let's do it. That was a major success. I'll buy those tickets, too, because I have uh, $1,000 in my account. From what? Because I had to buy a flight and then um, it got the gig got canceled. To where? Florida? Uh-huh. That wasn't a thousand bucks. Well, it was first class. You think you're the queen of England. I just don't want to do it anymore. I've I've traveled too much to not I don't I don't every flight, but You don't need first class to Florida. It's only a couple hour flight. Emergency exit row window seat. A lot of leg room. You know, that's what I do. Okay, but I but I like it for other I reasons too anyhow. because you get on first, you get off first, you can always find a place for your bag. Like I just take one bag. It's like it's, there's a lot of other, and they just, they look at your ticket, they treat you nicer. They just really do. So All that stuff is. It's what? Ridiculous. I guess it doesn't, it's like, what you prefer for yourself, right? Like, what are you willing to put up with and what do you want 
for yourself. So if that's not important to you, then don't don't do it. Absolutely don't. You know, if it's more important to you to have the extra, you know, seven hundred dollars or whatever, that's probably not. It's probably a five hundred dollars difference for me each, to fly first no, class each to way. Florida. Each way. Well, that w- that ticket was a first class flight there and back to Florida. Whatever. I travel. I was going to go in on a Saturday morning. Do the show Saturday night and fly home Sunday morning. And it got canceled. Did he send you and, a deposit? Yeah, I got, my, I got to keep my deposit. Yeah, of course. These, these fly-by-night promoters that don't know how to promote. There's good promoters, but there's bad ones. Well, I don't know if he would be considered a bad promoter. He just had been booking this show... And didn't realize, like, in summer it was going to have, you know, much lower ticket sales. Yeah, in Florida in the summer. Yeah, bad promoter. Okay, well. Or clueless. Learning. I don't like that. Learning. <sighs> well, yeah, I know you don't like learning. That's, like, completely. Well, I see about that the other day, like. Oh my God! See how mad he gets about anything. I'm I not bring getting up. mad. I just does yep. this look mad? There's, yes. There yes. goes. No. Yes. Yesterday I called you for. We had not been fighting. There was nothing I did wrong at all. I called and you go yes. Yeah, I go this, yes. No, this is how you answer the phone. It's like no, I go yes. Can I help you? No. Yes. <clears throat> that that's not a bad way to answer the phone. I she calls. I go yes. It's basically, yes, can I help you, ma'am? No, you're yes. not doing it in that kind of voice. You're like, I'm so annoyed that you're calling. What now? No, yes. No. And we're done. No, that's a message from my phone. <clears> okay, <throat> but so it sure. is true. All right, you you, 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 so you take things so, because you've okay, been no, beaten no, 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 up no, 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 so no, no, much no, no, in you life. You want to get into this? You have. If I just walked around being a fucking cunt all the time, no. you would have such a problem with it, and you do. Anytime no. that I'm like, ask you to put your dishes away or do something, you're like, oh, this bitch, Bonnie Busybody. But oh, you're, you like it. But <laughs> you're allowed, you're allowed to act however you want, use whatever tone of voice you want. You're not a joy use, to be around. I use the same tone all the time. Yeah, and it's awful. I'm it's my saying, tone. I'm monotone. No, no, I'm no, a monotone no, no, no. guy. If you're around other people and you want them to like you, I see it. I see the charm come out. Do you do it around me? No, not, not at all anymore. I guess you got me, so you don't need to. <laughs> I got you. Yeah. Where am I going to go? What am I going to do? Should I divorce you just to prove to you that, like, hey, you should be nice to me once in a while? Oh, I'm not nice to you. Is that what you're saying? I'm never nice to you. Okay. Is this what you want to do? You want to go in a different? You want to have a different argument now, so that well, you, you don't have to have your, You know what I'm talking about. You're well, a smart uh, man. Thank <clears> you. Yeah, that's true. So, do you get you that know down? What I'm talking about. Do you get that down? Which is I'm a smart man because a lot of times you say I'm dumb and I don't have any learning curve. But now you just said I'm smart. So am I smart or am I dumb? Now this is the argument that you want to do. I don't want an argument. I'm asking you a question. Everything's a lot, a lot not an times, argument. A lot of times it's like, you know what it is? I don't know. Okay, I'm going to give you an example. And you remember this example. I said, what's that blue thing out on the, the tree? It's right behind you. Like, all you had to do is go like that and look. You go, what thing? I go, the thing out on the tree. What? I didn't go to what twice. Yeah, and then you go, what? You go, what is it? I, I don't know, I'm asking you. All you have to do is turn around and look. And you wouldn't turn around to look. I did turn around and look. You were like, the red thing? Oh, no, then you did turn around to look, and you go, the blue thing, it had a tiny bit of blue on it, but it was 90% red. Then why'd you say, what? what's that blue thing? Whatever it was that... Start over. You I said, said what's... <laughs> I didn't say, what's that blue thing? I said, what's that thing on the tree? Yeah. And it was like a picture or something that Rain had hung on the tree. Yeah. But you wouldn't turn around to look. And when you finally did turn around and look, you go, the blue thing? And I was like, what blue thing? It's red. And you're like, there's blue on it. So just tell me, is that 
What? Is that the markings of a brilliant man? At that time, I was obviously engaged in something else, and I didn't have. I didn't. You didn't up. want to go like that. That I, was too much for you. Probably at that time, maybe my back was hurting, or anything. We did figure it out. We did figure it out. Okay, I'm just saying, I'm giving that as an example. When you ask me, are you smart? Hmm. Lots of times you, someone will say something to you and you'll, you'll ask a question instead of just thinking for one second. Like you look at something and you go, what is that? And you go, I know you can figure it out. Peppers? Yes, those are peppers. Do you remember doing that? Then you got mad that I didn't immediately tell you they were peppers, but it's like they look like anything. They like little pumpkins. They look like squash. They look like ten different types of vegetables. Okay, let me get. Let me do one more. Okay, am I right or wrong? Did they look like ten different things? Not to me. They looked exactly like peppers, as you've seen in many, many pictures. No, 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 in no. Grocery stores and peppers are this way. Those were this way. That makes no sense what you're saying. They were laying on their side. Whatever. What's the next example? Next example is <laughs> we got to plant a garden. We got to plant a garden. I said, I don't want to plant a garden this year. You know, it's a lot it of work. It looks good. Oh, we got to plant a garden. We got to plant a garden. And we did a lot of work and you did most of it. But I did some, but you did a lot. Okay. I water it a lot too. I'll go out and water your garden, but go ahead. Okay. So we have now... Many, many tomatoes. Last year, this happened as well, where Rich won't eat a tomato out of the garden. He won't That's eat anything true. out of the garden. I ate the potatoes last night. You ate the potatoes. So I've eaten tomatoes. But you, you were eating a sandwich. I go, well, that looks like a good sandwich. Yeah, I ha I got a big tomato from the from the grocery store. I go, why wouldn't you get use one of the tomatoes in the garden? You got really angry because you no, don't know you how to got, control oh, your this anger. Is, this is a lie. Mm -hmm. She got angry because I, I didn't said, use her tomato. I said, I go, why would you do that? And, I and immediately, instead of saying like, oh, I don't know, I, I guess I should have used one from the garden or whatever it is that you th forgot that we had tomatoes. I don't know. I still don't understand She it. got mad and gave me a lecture. I, I didn't did get not. mad. I said, I said. Oh, you're, I'm going to start wasn't recording until, you. No, it wasn't until you lost your mind I that I dared ask you why. You go, because I don't want to use those little ones, all right? Leave me alone. Leave you're me right. alone. You're That's so like your, 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 your thing. Leave me alone. But why would you force someone to plant a garden and then not eat the tomato. Do you think I forced you to? You wanted to do it as much as me, and it came out beautiful. It came out beautiful. <laughs> it came out beautiful. No. Yes. It didn't come out beautiful. It looks great. It's a nice looking garden. The corn didn't come up. It's none of it really did very well. It was too dry. Yeah, because hard. Yes, because we had a drought. We lost all the trees, the grass. The, you know, for a month there was no rain, and it was fucking a hundred some degrees. Anyway, my point. You is, know, that's how. Why would you ask somebody to plant tomatoes? Here's what happened. Mm. I've eaten her tomatoes. <laughs> Not lately. <laughs> I was making a sandwich for golf. Her tomatoes are these little ones. They're not. They're not. They are. You, you haven't brought they're out Roma a big one. They're Roma tomatoes, and they're not that little. They're, they're pretty like that little. Big. You're acting like they're like cherry tomatoes. They're no, not. they're little oblong tomatoes. They're, they're not they're, even round. The the ones that did the best this year are the Romas. But they're not good on a sandwich. I wanted without picking them and wait until they get ripe. There uh, was there was seven of them in the bowl. Oh, oh my God! There was two of them, and they weren't ripe. And it wasn't. There's never been seven in the bowl mm -hmm. since this go year. Go look right now. You want to go get the bowl? You want me to bring it down and make you? I wouldn't do yeah. that to you in front of people. Okay. So, I just wanted a round, red, ready, ripe tomato. You know what? Not only did I do that, and, and she's. I bought one the other day, but I hid it so she wouldn't get fucking mad because I didn't feel like going to the garden I, and please, picking. Please, right? Why would you make someone 
plant a garden and I, then not eat the things out of it. it I do. I ate sense. the potatoes and I've eaten the tomatoes yeah, when they you ripen. You wouldn't have eaten it. You've never gone and picked anything out of the garden. Well, I'm not a picker. Right. So the potatoes. They were good. They were the I best. I did them up yesterday. And, and then were, you were like. <sighs> what? This is, this is. You go. I made cauliflower broccoli. Cauliflower and broccoli, not cauliflower and broccoli. And then potatoes with onions and garlic. They were delicious. And a couple of carrots in there. And uh, Where did the carrots come from? The store-bought. Everything except for the potatoes was store-bought. Why didn't you grow, did you grow carrots this year? Yes, but they're like teeny little piddly things. Anyway, um... Then and and a uh, chicken, fake chicken cutlet, and then Rich goes. This is really unhealthy. About the, it's like, what do you want from me? It's like always a negative thing. It's, it's like, not negative to potatoes. There's, there's two dishes that are super super healthy. I don't I don't like broccoli unless it's really cooked soft and you cook it hard. Yeah, because. Who wants soft fucking broccoli that melts in your mouth? That's disgusting. That's how my mother used to cook it with butter. Your mom is a was a good cook. I hate to break the news to anybody you. who's cooking broccoli until it's like you know mushy in your mouth is not a good cook. Sorry, she was a great cook. I hate to break the news. Well, Again. everything you like is raw. You like your your. Uh, pasta to be cooked until it's like falling apart. That's not true. I don't like it hard. I don't like El Dante. Okay. It gives me a stomach ache. Go ahead. No, I just read that it's probably giving you a stomach ache if it's cooked too much. No. More than El Dante doesn't doesn't affect you as much. It does. I, you, well, you're telling me how I... Oh, your legs aren't sunburnt. They are. Oh, no, they're not. I read your legs aren't sunburnt. Whatever. Can we be done? I'm done with you. You say my mom's a bad cook. Take that back. Your mom's a fucking. <laughs> Take it back. Terrible. She, your mom. I gave your mom a fucking one star review, bitch. Really? <laughs> That's what you want to say? <laughs> well, there's no pleasing you. I don't know if that was. Yes, her. there is. Or what? And there he, is no pleasing you. Yes, there is. How? How can I make you happy? Being who you are. I I love you just the way you are. Olivia Newton-John died. I was listening to a radio station yesterday, and they're talking about her, and people are calling in. Oh, she was my, you know, and they're all broken up. Relax. You didn't know her. I know. I've never quite understood that. I mean, it's like sad. It's if- sad, of course, yeah, but... They're like, oh, I met her at a meet and greet. She was so nice. And, ah, uh, shut up. I just want to call in and be na- do whatever. Oh, it's so sad. Yeah, it's sad. What's sadder is you calling to say it's sad. Right? I guess. You were just getting ready to agree. I mean, I... I think like it's weird when people like actually mourn the loss of someone they've never met. But I guess I mourn the loss of like, you know, we'll never see art from that person again or whatever. So if you like the music. She was a painter. The music. She wasn't a singer. She was an actress. Oh, she was a singer too, right? Mm. You really knew a lot about her. Clearly, <laughs> I didn't say I did. Oh, she was a singer first, Mm -hmm. then an actress Mm -hmm. in Greece with uh, Travolta. Oh, a singer. Can you please? I mean, what are you doing right now? They're remaking uh, Roadhouse with Jake Gyllenhaal and the fucking MMA guy. They can't leave anything alone. Well, it's like they're the thing is is that movies and TV now oh, are not, so scared oh. of anything new. They need an IP, which means it has to be based on something. So in order to sell a project, it has to be based on something. So an a, a movie that's already been done, they're like, oh, "Okay." Or um a book that's, you know, did well. Okay. 
but it's not, you know, something that's just original. They don't know how to tell if that's good or not. Yeah, well, that's their job. Yeah, but to have a vision, right? But that's the problem: is that they they go they're not artists; they go by the numbers. So that's just how it works. What was uh, where did the the show? Can what's we be done? Name? What's his What's his name from Black Sabbath? Uh, I the lead singer. What's I his have name? No clue. Sharon Osbourne. Oh, uh, oh, Ozzy Osbourne. Yeah. Remember they had that reality show? Yeah, the Osbournes. Yeah, what was it on? MTV? Yes. VH1 turned it down. And it was like MTV's biggest hit. Yeah. People don't have a vision. And that's what they're That's hiding. what you're using is Hollywood misses with art? Whatever. They just, they don't have Oh, my God. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> you use the Osbournes. Yeah. That started the whole thing that everyone hates. That oh, everyone and, complains about. Oh, then why has it been on every network for 30 years? They hate. Well, I'm saying like people like, you know, think that the crash of, you know. Not you. The, the TV you, industry is because of like the Kardashians. And, yeah, not you. You've watched The Housewives for years. You're part of the... Uh, if you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. So, I guess. don't guess. Say yes. Yes. Thank I'm you. I'm not proud of it. So I'm, like, you know, but I there's something weird and biological that hits when you watch like women fighting or something. It feels good. I know it's wrong, but it it's I've I hate everyone on the housewives. So why am I watching it? Because you think you're better than them. Yeah, I guess you kind of like, oh, these fucking idiots. All right. Well. Well, thanks. I've got into it a little bit there, and then uh, <laughs> you keep saying that. I don't. <laughs> I mean, it's not that much different than sports. Uh, no, people don't watch sports because they hate it. They watch sports because they, cause like, they the like fights. It. No, there's no fights in in hockey in where I grew up. That's, that's one sport. That's not football, baseball, and basketball. Don't well, watch they're them. fighting one another. They're like, and in actual fighting, they're fighting MMA and boxing and all that. They're actually fighting. And in basketball, they're like competing. That's different than fighting. Yeah, but yeah. that's that's the whole. That's the same thing. It's not that different. Uh, well, folks, you've heard it all today. Oh, you've heard boy, it all now. Really, really got into it. Uh, August 17th, I'll be at Zany's Comedy Club, Chicago. 17th, mm -hmm. 18th, 19th, and 20th, the Comedy Vault in uh, Batavia or whatever, uh, Illinois, the Comedy Vault. And then uh, Sunday, the McHenry Theater. Oh, my God, flight delays. What? It says possible flight delays. It always says possible flight delays. Oh, it does? Yeah. Oh. They're trying to fucking cover their ass. So uh, Zanies, and then uh, I think it's the 27th, 28th, the AC Comedy Club at Claridge, the last weekend in August. Look it up. Okay. I Could be one. the 27th and 28th. Zanies, the 17th, Comedy Vault, McHenry Theater. AC Comedy Club at the Claridge wraps up my August. Summer's flying. Should I do mine? Yep. Comedy for a Cause. JF Party Dragon presents our seventh annual Back to School Drive. I don't know what we're what it is. I'm just doing it. August 26th, 7 p.m., 804 Main Street, Tom's River, New Jersey. And that is on August 26th. Comedy for As a for cause. As for comedy for a good cause, I'm not really 100% sure what that cause is, but my cause is my bank account. So that's why I'm doing it. Mm. <laughs> but it's going to be a good show. You have a nice cause. <laughs> yeah. And if you're in Millersville, Millersville, PA, go to Jack's. Oh, yeah. Okay. You well, guys are great. Thank you for listening once again. 
as Rich chews into the mic, and I am Bonnie Ballbuster. Bonnie Busybody. Oh, Bonnie Busybody. Oh, Bonnie Ballbuster. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I knew it was BB. BBB. B, B. B to the third power. Boom. That's not the third power. Three Bs? Yes. Yeah, no, the third power would be times times. Oh. Like two to the second power is two times two is four to the third power. This is amazing. Where have you been hiding this? All right. Anyhow. Whoa. Smart. You want to suck me off? Ew. <laughs> I don't to the 20th power. <laughs> We're done. Bye. My Wife Hates Me was created and hosted by Rich Voss and Bonnie McFarlane. Executive producers Robert Kelly and Matt Kleinschmidt for the Laugh Button Podcast. Subscribe to the podcast by visiting mywifehatesmepodcast.com. He's totally sober. She's not that drunk. He's really old and she's got some spunk. He's totally holy as an asinine bomb and she's just a little less dumb. She really hates him. It's really true. But somewhere deep down, she loves him too.